A lot of motor cars, when you buy them, look very similar on the outside. But what's very often is what's different under the bonnet. And it's exactly the same with a suit. Suits might look the same on the outside, but it's when you get inside them you actually find out the difference. This is a Jeff Banks pure wool suit which compares very favourably to suits that are sometimes twice, three times, even four times expensive. And I'm going to show you why. Now, I wouldn't do this very often. This is sacrilege, but I'm going to open this suit up so you can see inside. And what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to take the front of the suit and I'm going to slit it open so we can actually see what is inside the suit. There we are. Now the first thing is that when you look inside, on the back of the fabric, this has got applied an interlining to it, which runs crossways so that the fabric won't stretch or move. And inside you can see that every dart and every seam has a patch which is individually applied by hand. So all of this is handwork. When I take a little bit more of the fabric away, you can actually see in here what's called the floating chest piece. Now this is layers of horsehair canvas, some of them where the grain is running crossways, others underneath, and you'll see in a second, run diagonally, and all of this is held together with these basting stitches which hold it in place. Also, along this seam here, there's a bracing strip that actually keeps all of this in position so that the lapel stays absolutely accurate and won't stretch. So what I'm going to do now is just open this up and you'll see the layers of canvas that go underneath this suit So in here, you can see apart from this layer of canvas, there's another layer internally here which is running in the opposite direction. So when this suit is made, here there are one, two, three layers inside and when this is steamed and pressed, that's what gives this suit its immaculate shape. So that's the first thing under the bonnet. The next is here around the shoulder which is absolutely critical. When you make a suit, it hangs on a man's shoulders like a pair of curtains. So if you don't get this absolutely accurate, the suit will never hang properly. So the shoulders are critical. But first of all, the sleeve head is vital. So let's have a look under the bonnet of the sleeve. Don't be scared, Chris, because I've done this before. So here, when I open up the sleeve, which may look very simple from the outside. You'll see on the inside here, there are these one, two, three, four layers of canvas that are all going in different directions to give that sleeve the wonderful shape that it's got. And tucked away right inside here is a felt inner, which is called a Rolino, that when it's pressed, shrinks slightly to give that sleeve the wonderful rounded shape that it's got. So all of this is internal to this sleeve head which gives it its shape. And finally, round the back of the suit, when I actually cut this up, Here at the top of the neck, there's the bracing strip that makes sure the neck of this suit is never going to stretch. So this brace is all individually put on by hand to make sure that the neckline is accurate. And here we have the shoulder pad which runs over the back, through to the front, and that's what gives the shoulder its absolutely smooth shape. And here, all of these are individually made for each suit. When I cut through this here, this is not just one layer, 
there are actually three layers of different felt that are going in to make this shoulder pad have the shape that it does. That is under the bonnet of a Jeff Banks suit. <laughs>